Simon is using a shelf marker to look for a book. He puts the shelf marker in, he takes out the book, and he leaves the shelf marker in place as he browses this book. So he's turning the pages and he's deciding if he wants this book. But he decides he doesn't want the book. And so he's going to close it and he's going to put it back. He's putting it in the correct spot where the shelf marker is. But notice that the spine is not facing out. The pages are facing out. Please make sure the spine is facing out. Here's Marin showing us the correct way to use a shelf marker. When you find a book you like, put the shelf marker in, leave it on the shelf, and take the book out. And then you can browse the book and decide if you want it. And if you don't want it, you're going to close the book, put it back where the shelf marker is with the spine facing out. This is the correct way to browse books. Let's watch Carly as she browses a book. She puts her shelf marker in, she leaves it in place, and she takes the book out. And she decides that she actually wants this book. So she removes the shelf marker, she takes the book, and she walks towards the checkout desk to check out this book. But on the way, she decides that, I don't want this book after all, I've changed my mind. And look at what she does. She puts it on a random shelf and then just walks away. And now this book is lost and it will be really hard to find. This time, Carly is going to show us what to do if we change our mind about a book after we've taken it off the shelf. So she decides that she wants this book, she takes the book and the shelf marker, and she heads over to the checkout desk to check this book out. But on the way, she decides, you know what? I don't want this book. I've changed my mind about the book. And instead of putting it on a random shelf, she puts it on the counter where we return our books. This is where I want you to put your books if you change your mind. Johnny, Carly, and Cecilia are going to show us how to check out books. Line up by the checkout desk on the orange dots that are on the carpet. And when it's your turn, you're going to put your books with the back cover facing up so Ms. Weber Sanders can scan the barcodes. Put your shelf marker in the little white container on the checkout desk. Tell her your first and last name, and then she can scan your books. And then after you are checked out, you can go sit at the tables and read quietly until it is time to go back to class. A special thank you to the students who helped me make this video, Simon, Marin, Cecilia, Jonathan, and Carly.